Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours, Shirley Knights Sports. Today, we are talking the uh, Queen Mary Dark Harbor event. Normally, it would be me and Sammy doing this, but it's just because I was the only one of the Knights of Horror that actually went to this event with Robert and with uh, with some other people, and man, it was, it, was, it was definitely a different event compared to your normal um, haunt. I really enjoyed Queen Mary Dark Harbor uh, with the six mazes and the, and the scare zones and the sliders, the little sideshows, all the bars they had was really cool. We got to go into like two of the secret bars this year, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this event. Like I said, it's very different from the other events, especially with the history of the ship. It really makes that uh, vibe a lot more creepy. But today we're going to rank all six of the mazes at Queen Mary Dark Harbor, which I thought from, uh, you know, least uh, favorites um, because it was really hard to kind of go through these mazes and choose where I put them in my list. Now this is all opinion based. People may have different opinions about the about the mazes and you know the event itself. However this is just based off the walkthroughs I went through and the experience I had at this event overall. Um, so here we go. Number six is going to go to Intrepid. Now um, Intrepid was, it was really good in the beginning, but then it had a really, um, really slow ending, which was like, all the scare actors were great in the beginning, I saw a lot of scare characters and a lot of people scaring in the very beginning, and then like towards the end of the maze, there was like really no scare actors at all, and that was kind of a disappointment, um, I wish they would have went and utilized more scare actors, or I may have just caught it at a, a time where everybody was taking their breaks, I don't know, it was just a bad walkthrough I went through and kind of a bad experience with that maze, so that is why I'm putting Intrepid at number six. Number five is going to go to Lullaby. Now, I really enjoy Lullaby. I wish they would have went back and took it to the actual original pool that's abandoned, because I know they did that in the beginning for like a couple years when they first introduced this maze. Uh, but nonetheless, to see the lore of um, Scary Mary and uh, Lullaby and everything was really cool. There's actually one scene where like you're walking through and like there's a Scary Mary actress, like multiple of them uh, running back and forth to these like curtains and it's, it's very terrifying and it's really cool. And then of course the scene when you go inside the pool and you're supposed to be underwater, another very terrifying scene. Um, but it was, it was a really dope maze and I really enjoyed it. Number four is going to go to Feast. I put this at number four because it was a maze that when you walk through it, you can barely see anything, and I think that's what really creeped me out a lot in this maze. I feel that when you can't really see much and you're hearing stuff and the characters are interacting with that kind of madness of, of the dark, uh, it, it really adds the vibe to make it even more scarier, and I feel that this maze really accomplished that. Walking through it, I mean, you can barely see stuff, but you, you're hearing the audios, you're seeing the scare actors interact with you. It's it's very terrifying experience, and knowing that that ship is haunted actually adds a more eerie feeling to the uh, maze. That goes for all the, all, the, all the mazes that were on the ship. Like, every time I walked through one, I just had that feeling of, like, someone watching me, or just it was just an eerie feeling of, overall. Number three will go to Circus. Now, I really enjoyed Circus. I'm a sucker for clowns. I'm a sucker for all things kind of circusy and stuff like that. Um, and, and Circus really, really utilized that. In the beginning, of course, you see uh, the actual circus part of all the different freaks of the freak show, which is really cool. And then you go through a house of mirrors with, of course, scare actors in there guiding you different areas the wrong ways and, and stuff. And I thought that was really funny and cool. And then you make your way through a ball pit, which I thought was interesting. Uh, there's a scene where you can put your hand through stuff and try to open something, which is freaking hilarious because uh, it really does nothing. It just it was a way of getting you to put your hand into something that's probably nasty or someone on the other side gonna mess with you. And then of course you have um, you know the last scene where it's really foggy and then its character just jumps out at you, which I thought was really cool. Um, and I really enjoyed Circus. Number two is going to go to B340. Now, this is based off the infamous room B340 on the Queen Mary, where it's, the, of course, the most haunted room on the Queen Mary. Uh, and they really utilize the lore of that, of the killer who, who's been killing in B340, committed suicide in B340, 
and throughout the maze or throughout that at least yeah throughout that maze you start seeing like the lore unfold which I thought was really cool different scenes in the in the room or just different murders that took in place in the room to make it haunted which is really cool um, and I really enjoyed myself throughout that maze very fun and very uh, in, uh, scenic wise was awesome and again another maze that was on the ship that was very scary because you know just the history of that ship and the fact that it's haunted it's it's terrifying um, another thing I had, uh, uh, like at least with me on the ship, there would there'd be parts where it'd get really cold, and usually that's usually a sign of paranormal activity. But it could have been just the ship being cold. Um, I don't know. There'd be just like certain areas where you walk through and it just got really cold all of a sudden. So that's just me though. Uh, of course, number one's gonna go to Rogue, which was the new maze this year they had at the event, and I really enjoyed Rogue because. It was one of those mazes where um, they really brought the lore of the captain to life and, of course, the ship. Uh, and you got to walk through the ship as it was going through a rogue wave, which I thought was really cool. I mean, the way they, they set this up was amazing. You got to go through different parts of the ship to uh, see the ship's crew. Uh, and at the end, you get to see the ship kind of sinking, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, but Queen Mary 2019 was very fun this year. We really enjoyed ourselves. That was the first year that we actually went to the event. We got to go as media, and that was very nice of them to uh, invite us out to do that. And I hope that we can keep that relationship going with the Queen Mary because I really enjoyed myself, and I can't wait to go back next year. So thank you guys for watching this video uh, on the Queen Mary of what we thought overall review of the of the event. The bars were amazing. The drinks were good. Um, the shows were awesome. They had like a fire show and then an aerobic show. And of course, the scare actors always doing their best to freaking bring this event to life. And they did a phenomenal job at that event, nonetheless. Um, and yeah, overall, just everybody was super cool. All the scare actors were super interactive, super on top of everything. And they, they really made that event uh, come to life, which I really appreciate them all for. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Knights of Horror and Instagram at The Knights of Horror. And if you're feeling a little extra generous, go ahead and subscribe down to our Patreon where we're going to uh, do start interacting more on that. And, you know, there's different tiers you can join from a dollar to uh, $20. And uh, it's, you know, always recommended but never required to do. We also love the support on just YouTube alone. So... Um, thank you to everyone who supports us on YouTube, and we will see you guys in the next video.